Okay, so what you want to do is you want to cut four pieces out of your PVC, one piece 70 centimeters and the other three 40 centimeters, which are going to be the legs of your launcher. Then you want to cut a slight angle at the tip of all three of your legs, like so. Then with these edges, secure them using glue or putty to the main tube. Then insert the car valve into the bottom of the main tube using glue. While that's drying, we can begin on the release mechanism, which is the band clamp and two pieces of the nylon thread. You want to secure these to the band clamp using a series of knots and the and some cable ties, making sure they are perpendicular to one another. Then what you want to do is you want to take a small piece of PVC, drill a hole through it and coil up the rest of the uh, nylon thread as this is going to be your launching cable. It should not be less than 10 meters. Now let's get down to the real pressure business. But first let's look at the launcher so far. Pretty neat. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take PTFE tape or plumber's tape and you want to wrap it around where you want the bottle to sit nice and tightly. And at some point you want to put more PTFE tape so that the bottle cannot move any more downward. Then once you have reached that you want to add valves. I use two valves but one valve will also work and you can secure it using a cable tie. This is the part that you want to be that you want to have real pressure tight because that is where the, the rocket is going to build up pressure. Then you want to also add masking tape but you want to have the sticky side facing outwards. This is what you're going to use to hold the cable ties on there. You want to pre-fit it to see if it fits nice and snug and it does. Then you want to add cable ties, making sure they fit correctly over the bottle top. You can secure them using a cable tie or another band clamp. Let's take it off and it is looking pretty nice so far. Then what you want to do is you want to take a bottle and cut it into this square and cut two holes straight through. One hole must be slightly bigger than the other hole and they should fit through the cable ties and this will act as a brake. Then what you want to do is you want to add it over there and if it doesn't fit just use tape. Then you want to add your release mechanism over placing each thread through both of the holes. And pulling down. Make sure the cable ties don't get caught in between the thread. And repeat on the left hand side. This can be a timely process. So take your time. Then what you want to do is you want to bring the two pieces to one point and connect them with a cable tie, making sure it is very tight. Then you want to take your coil, which is your 10 meter length of launching cable, and you want to put it through and fold, and then connect using a cable tie. Once again, making sure that the cable tie is securely on there. And you want to pre-tension it by pulling it a little bit 
adjusting and once again pulling it until it is really tight and there you go your launching cable is now on your thing as you can see it is working very nicely now just for convenience I added this little piece of iron that's hold that's holding my launching cable upright while I'm not using it like so just for convenience and remember to drill holes through the bottom of your tripod these are the are the holes where the tent pins are going through and the tent pins add safety to your launcher and that's how it looks when it's done pretty sweet you might have noticed mine is at a slight angle but that is for a safety so there you have it there's my launcher